How's it going everybody? Driver53 here and today I want to show you how to use the fermenting silo by Omatana. This mod is available for all platforms. Yes, console players, we are now going to be able to use the fermenting silo on consoles. That is absolutely insane. I am so excited for all these new possibilities here with Farming Simulator 22. Now, really quickly, this is only going to take up five slots on console. The first thing you're going to need to do is come down here to construction. Then you go over to production. You're going to come down to your factories and then you go all the way across to where all of your mods are. And you can see the fermenting silo right here. It's only going to be $30,000. This is one of the cheapest factories that we've had available so far here for Farming Simulator 22. And to place it down, you are going to be able to rotate this thing all the way around to place it down. Really awesome. You can put it anywhere you want to. Once you put it down, you need to come over here to your production chains menu. As you can see right here, fermenting silo has grass silage, hay silage, and chaff silage. You're going to get 120 cycles per month. That's going to be every 12 minutes if you're playing on one day seasons. How did I get that? Well, you take 120 divided by 24, and that's going to give you five. Five cycles per hour, and that equals one month if you're playing on one day seasons. If you're playing on multiple than that, multiply the number of days by 12 minutes, and that's going to be how often you're going to get one of these cycles out. Now, the production cost here is only going to be $2 a month. That's insanely cheap. And the recipe, it's 1,000 in and 1,000 out for all three of these. I've got 50,000 liters of grass here in my trailer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull right over top of this. As you can see, it's going to go in, and it's going to be standard unloading. Once you have your product put into your silo, all you're going to need to do is come over here and make sure that you have this turned on to running. You can see there in the middle, it says status running. What that's going to do, it's going to begin processing all of your silage for you. Now, it's not going to do it every 12 minutes. It's going to gradually do it. So as you can see, we already have seven liters of silage down there in our outgoing products. And you may be saying that 50,000 liters didn't really make that big of a dent in the capacity here of this silo. That's because each one of these inputs, grass, hay, and chaff, you're going to be able to store 2 million liters of each of these in your outgoing products, your silage. It's going to store 2 million liters for you there also. Now, it's not going to give you any pallets. What you're going to have is just a spout here on the other side of the silo. You're going to be able to pull your trailer underneath right here. And you're going to be able to take out your silage. Now, a really interesting thing about this, you can also use this silo as just a storing facility because you are going to have access to the other ingredients. This is the first factory that I've seen that you can actually do that with. This is awesome that you are going to be able to take out all of your other products. So use this as a silo that you're going to be able to hold 2 million liters of each of these products. That is amazing. Thank you, Omatana. At full capacity of 2 million liters, this factory is going to run for 16 and two thirds days. That is insane. That means if you do a really, really big harvest, you're not going to have to come back and do it again. And this thing is going to run at full capacity for over 16 days straight. And you may be also wondering, does it run all three recipes at the same time? The answer is yes. If you have one of these turned on, you're going to get 1,000 liters every 12 minutes. And if you have all three of these turned on, you're going to get 3,000 liters every 12 minutes because that's one for each of your inputs. Now, if you're a player like me that doesn't really like to use your forage wagons a whole lot because it's a lot of trips back and forth to your fields, let me show you something here about bales. So what we're going to do, we are going to go ahead and pull up here on top of your trigger here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and unload these. And it's really awesome that Omatana put this feature in here into the silo. Yes, we are going to be able to unload bales directly into this right here. Boom. There we go. You're going to be able to bring a full trailer over here, unload it directly in there, and it's going to save you so much time over using a standard forge wagon because we know that you can get 7,000 liter plus bales. And if you're hauling even 14 of them here right that, that is so much more than you're ever going to be able to fit inside one of those forage harvesters. If you're all about efficiency, I highly recommend making a bunch of grass bales out in your field as big as you can and then picking them up with a loading trailer here and bringing them over here, dumping them in here. It's going to save you so much time. Well, everybody, that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. If you want to keep up to date on other how-to videos that we have here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you do, hit the notification bell too. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time.
This is Driver 53, signing off.